Hopkinton Health Director Sean McAuliffe recently gave a health update on our Hangout Hour program. About the CDC, you know, do we wear masks? Do we not wear masks? We're getting to that point in Hopkinton where I, I'm actually okay with everything that the governor's about to do. I mean, we're, you know, for those who well, haven't heard and will definitely hear later tonight, uh, Massachusetts will be, for the for all intents and purposes, opened up on uh, May 29th. So um, there'll be a few exceptions where, you know, face coverings will be required, but um, all other restrictions are going to be lifted. And then come June 15th, the uh, emergency declaration will be lifted. So, um, and you know, a lot of... Get in all your bills in now before. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm now I'm, I'm sitting there looking at, I'm sitting on all this grant money that I got to, yeah, <laughs> to wow. figure out what I need. Um, but, you know, so what does that mean for Hopkinton? I mean, it means that, you know, all of the businesses, and I've been, I've been in touch with a bunch of them today, um, you know, they should start making plans to open up, figure out what, you know, their, their return to a normal operation is going to look like, because as we were discussing, you know, they have the right to require face coverings and to set up, you know, uh, protocols um, that are a little more, you know, that are more stringent if they aren't fully comfortable with opening up. Um, and that's one of the things that the governor and the secretary were stating today, you know, we, we're, we're allowed to open up, but um, we need to be, our, you know, we need to respect, you know, businesses' decisions, you know, as as we are going through this process. Right. And, um, absolutely. Because they, they did mention that we're not going to have any kind of unvaccinated ID card, you know, proof of no, ID, no. this and, and, but there are still people that, you know, found a new way, and I, we'll go into the service industry. They found a new way to serve the public uh, during this pandemic. And like you and me, we got some ideas of, you know, having to be creative in this time. And we got the ideas and there's some things that we're going to stick with. And mask could be one of them. They yeah. may want, you may see this service with the mask all the time. You may see service with gloves all the time. Uh, they may ask you, Hey, you know, we or we may limit the tables to six, though. You know, stuff like that yeah. that, they, that they had to adapt to. So you got to respect it. You know, the, let's put it this way: I never seen so many signs in in one place at any time. It, it's just incredible. And you know, some people. Oh, I still forget my mask. I mean, come on, it's been a year. You know, yeah. I can no, potty no. train it. I can potty train the dog best. You know. Yeah. But it, it's but these people still want to have their mask, and they're going to expect you to do it. So you're not going to get rid of those masks yet. No, and and the, it's funny because, like I, I've been, you know, when someone asked me, you know, what the last year has been like, I, you know, it's 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 this interesting story. And then when I get around to this time, I'm like, and people. Are, the, the, I'm finding people are just at their wits, at they're at their end, and you know they're they're fighting me on everything. And I have one who has been writing me weekly about face coverings, and and I'm like, but you you can't argue with you know the data. You know, if you look at just the municipal offices, we've had the lowest rate of absenteeism ever. Um, when I look at the school data or the town data. We had the lowest rate of, uh, aside from COVID, respiratory illnesses. So flu, the common cold, um, you know, things like norovirus, all of the things that you would get, especially in the school setting. Um, it just, we haven't seen that this year. Right. So, right. I, I mean, I personally think that there is a place for face coverings in the schools and they will still be required in the schools. Sure. Um, but, you know, these are the things to, you know, to consider maybe during cold and flu season, um, people might want to wear a face covering right now. Um, the funny thing today was my, when my daughters took their face coverings off 
um, and they were exposed to pine pollen. They started uh, sneezing. Right. And I said, well, until the allergy medicine takes effect, maybe you want to put the face covering on. And, and then they stopped sneezing. So, you know, it, we learned a lot this year. So, I, I mean, I, I think like many others, I'm not a fan of wearing a face covering, but, you know, I didn't have any of the sinus infections I normally get. You know, I, I yeah. get my flu shot, so I didn't have any flu. Um, and uh, aside from being incredibly exhausted and in need of a long vacation. Uh, you know, I'd say my, my family made out pretty well. View the entire program on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV.